Are you ready for this? Eddie Hearn from Matron Sport in association with Dennis Hobson Promotion proudly presents 12 rounds of boxing in a final eliminator for the IBF World Bantamweight Championship. Sponsored here by Betfair, Scots and Northfire, we are live on Sky Sports HD. Welcome to Yorkshire. It's Fight Night! All the officials have been appointed by the International Boxing Federation in association with the British Boxing Board of Control, whose steward in charge is Mr. Jeff Bolter and our supervisor from Phoenix, USA, Aaron Kaiser. Timekeeper at the bell from Halifax, Colin Roberts. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our three scoring judges. From South Africa, Alfred Bukwani. From England, Howard Foster. And from Canada, Pasquale Procopio. The referee in charge of the action from Preston, England, Phil Edwards. They are the officials. These are the contestants. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner wearing the white trunks, trimmed with green, weighing in at eight stone and five pounds, a 29 fight record, 21 wins, 18 inside. The scheduled distance. Six losses, one draw, one no contest from Nicaragua, Darwin Zamora. And now, welcome home. He's fighting out of the blue corner where the white trunks took with purple. He won it at eight stone, five pounds, 12 ounces. He's record reads. 22 contests, 19 wins, 8 inside the scheduled distance. Two defeats and one draw. He comes in the ring as a reigning British champion and former undefeated Commonwealth and European bantamweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, on the verge of World Championship Boxing, would you please welcome the fighting pride of Doncaster, England, Jamie Mer So here we go then. 12 rounds of boxing and then the final eliminator for the IBF Bantam White Championship of the world. Gentlemen, you have had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Touch gloves, good luck to you both. Well, a lot of people have made the short journey up from Doncaster and the surrounding villages to see Jamie McDonald hopefully hit the big time. But what does Darwin Zamora make of that? He could gate crash the party himself. And you would think that the Nicaraguan's best chance is to come out throwing bombs early. Because you look at the two physically in that ring right now, McDonald looks really big. And I'm sure that's going to tell, certainly the longer this goes on. But Steffi Bull, McDonald's trainer, was saying, we're going to take our time with this fella because we respect his punching power. Let's see, as you say, Jim, whether McDonald will be able to listen to that or whether he'll just fancy this, that he can plow straight through and have an early night. Yeah, for Jamie McDonald to start slow, well, was the first time for everything. Oh, 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 the jab, that straight away, that shook him. It was just a straight left, and it got straight through, and Zamora felt it. And he's backing up, there's the left of the body. He was such a good body puncher, Jamie McDonald. Well, Zamora stands his ground, that's the way he does business. Yeah, he gets a little bit of power into that left hand. But as you've already said, McDonald just looks so much bigger. Good lateral movement as well. Over the last two or three years since he's been with Steffi Bull and Dave Hulley in particular, they've worked on his defences. McDonald admitted himself that he was just a bit of a crash-bang wallet merchant. You can't go to world level without defensive skills, and McDonald has worked hard on that, that side of his game. No, I don't think the southpaw stance will be any problem at all for McDonald. Cagey southpaws are a nightmare, but I don't get the feeling Zamora is cagey. I think he's aggressive, I think he's a strong puncher. So I don't think he'll be cute to cagey. So I don't think McDonald has any real problems to work out. We talked about cagey southpaws. McDonald's been doing a lot of his sparring with a very cagey southpaw indeed, Rendell Monroe. 
those two have sparred together and helped each other out a lot. They've done 60 rounds with the former European super bantamweight champion preparing for first Lucy Malinga and now this fella, the late replacement. He's landed a couple of decent lefts in this first round, but doesn't seem to have done anything to disturb McDonald's rhythm. And he, he is just taking it a little bit cautious and steady. There's a more a couple of nice little moves we've seen from him. He's been outworked in the opening round here, but there's a confident look about him. You know, the panic hasn't set in. He, he has a little bit wild with the left hand there from him. But yeah, he's keeping his composure. He's got a confident look about what he's doing. There's a yep. lot of wild left hand. He really is loading up here. I think they know that their game plan has got to be swing and hope for the best. Well, I think he realises he has to, to, to dent McDonald a little bit, boxing away from home against the home fighter. Then you want to make an impression if you can. He's trying to do that with the left hand here. Just a, a little bit over ambitious, I think. A good round so far for McDonald. Well, Lee Zamora is showing some intent here when I saw that straight left jab go through I thought we could be in for a very early night but that just woke Zamora up he's certainly loading up with those left hands it could get interesting if he can land one of those flush he's just a little bit predictable Zamora you can see what he's thinking and what he's doing Dave Halley runs the corner on fight night team McDonald and he's just dispensing his advice must be pretty happy with what they saw in that first round and they just were saying while we we're away just more of the same keep it going do not let this fella settle and relax and get any confidence round two of this 12 rounder an eliminator for the IBF bantamweight title that's held by Leo Santa Cruz of Mexico McDonald looking to move into the big time if he can negotiate this one last hurdle I think that the problem was Zamora, you know what, what's on his mind, you know he's, he's trying to set you up for the left hand all the while, just a little bit too predictable, he's going to have to come up with something else, this is better for McDonald imposing himself on him now. And another left jab through, and a left hand counter there as well, and watch for those left hooks to the body like that, it's a signature shot from McDonald. Wild left hands from Zamora. Just out of range there, though. McDonald. Zamora just took a step back. Zamora leaves himself wide open every time he misses with a punch. You can see why he's gotten himself into trouble a few times in previous fights when he really hands his chin out to dry when he makes a mistake, basic mistakes that he makes. He left his midsection open there as well and took another left hook for his pains. There's a guy that's been stopped five times at flyweight and super flyweight up against a big bantamweight. It doesn't have one punch power, but certainly has wear you down punching ability and switching the body there, switching the attack from body to head very effectively. And Zamora felt that and he's backed up against the ropes and trying to find a response, but he was hurt there. Yeah, but I think McDonald has put a little bit of a dent in Zamora in this round. That one was low, but the left hook there was a beauty. He got away with the low one because he was blindsiding referee Phil Edwards. Here he goes again. It's attrition from Jamie McDonnell. He just grinds away. It's volume and precision. And I think what we've seen from Zamora is what we're going to see. I don't think he has any tricks up his sleeve. I think he's pretty straightforward. And his swelling left eye is on, marked up. Yeah, swelling in the, le the left eye. Above and below. That eyelid's starting to swell up badly. And there's marking around underneath as well. Again, he's short and caught with a right hand counter and felt that. Tucked another right hand. And again, as you said, Jim, wide open. Yeah, well, this early of the job is looking a little bit too big for Zamora. He's brave, he's determined, he's giving it a go, but he's making basic mistakes and being punished for them every time. Well, not only is the job looking too big for Zamora, McDonald's looking too big for him as well. I mean, physically, they look different weight classes. McDonald's so big at bantamweight, but comfortable at the weight as well, and in total control of this one so far. <laughs> Some fine tuning going on in the McDonald's corner. Not much to fine tune in that round. It was pretty much what you wanted to do. 
Yeah, and he hurt Zamora. And the earlier you can round do that three. to a visiting fighter, the better, and he's done it in the second round. Roger Rivas in the corner of Darwin Zamora. Can't just oh, plug the holes at the moment, and that's going to be a tough job here. It really is. Can he tighten up his defences? Can he just block some of these punches? Too many getting through and nothing really landing with that left hand that he keeps loading up. McDonald's seeing it coming. And they were really, Dave Holly was really just saying, pay attention. That's the only thing you've got to do. Just pick your shots, pay attention. They still respect the power of that left hand. They don't want any silly mistakes when you're this close to something special. Well, McDonald has a good jab, he's used it to good effect, so he wants the right hand nice and high to catch that left hand because that seems to be the only weapon that Zamora has. And then just keep drilling the left jab and the left hook. He's landed a couple of terrific left hooks already, good chopping right. Oh, good uppercut went in there as well. And a straight jab, and he switches downstairs, then back upstairs again and straight through the non existent guard of the Nicaraguan. Misses and misses badly. He's not even close with that at the moment, Zamora. Nah, his defence is pretty non-existent. You can see you know, what, why he's been stopped five times. I mean, any punch is going to be able to tee off on him. I mean, he's tough and determined. You've got to give him that. But he offers too many free shots, makes too many mistakes. Oh, that hook to the body, followed by an uppercut. He got through with the right hand there, Zamora. But again, McDonald didn't notice it and just continued his own assault. Good punches. Another good left hook, this time upstairs. So McDonald varying the point of attack, looking for the uppercuts here. They just missed. But the punch is coming from all angles now from McDonald, who is starting to get the engine revved up as well. The tempo definitely rising. And can Zamora live with it? He's holding a little bit there, Zamora. I just think he feels that McDonald is huge. Doesn't quite know what to do with him. Straight left, again. a swing and a miss. How many of those have we seen from Zamora? Well, I say this for him, he's taken a lot of punishment in this fight, but he still keeps coming back for more. He's willing, he wants it. He's managing to catch a lot of the punches on his forehead. Not too many have landed cleanly on the chin, a couple of left hooks have. Knocked off that right hand and slipped inside that right hand. Better defensively from Zamora, but can he keep it going? Traffic continuing here. Yeah, even more reckless and ragged work from, from Zamora. I think the difference in size and strength is having a big toll on him now. Well, they've had their good long look at Zamora, the Nicaraguan, and they're going to start stepping up the work right here in this 12 rounder. Pretty much all his own way at the moment. But they're still respectful of that power. Not that we're seeing any evidence of it at all so far. here at the start of this fourth round and Zamora's absorbed them all but how much more can he absorb and wide open there and surely wide open for the taking I mean he hasn't looked troubled by the power in McDonald's punches yet he's taken them flush and, and, and still walking forward he's certainly tough enough I think the fact that he's been knocked out five times well it's been good punchers who have managed to do that I think it's just that he, you know, he can't put a dent in McDonald's. He's just not big enough to push him back. 
McDonald putting a lot of dents in Zamora. But the Nicaraguan keeps coming back. And this is the thing with McDonald. And it'll be interesting when he does move up to serious world class. He does lack one punch power. Yes, he does wear you down. But has he got enough power to operate at the highest level? Good stuff again from McDonald. Very yeah. focused, very businesslike. Yeah, producing the better work again. Not dominating, but producing the better work. Zamora looking very weary, which is hardly surprising. He's been on the receiving end of a lot of punishment, particularly at the start of this round. But even then, he came back and landed a left of his own. No, but this is a huge night for him, and as we said, uh, a shot that's come right out of the blue. So he's going for it, but uh, so far, just not good enough. Well, until a week ago, they were preparing to go 12 rounds, no question. Vusi Malinga, a real tough guy. They didn't even stop once, I think. They certainly thought that McDonald was going to have to go the distance in that one. But his camp think that he can finish this one early, and I'm sure they'd like to see it. And these fans would certainly like to see it. A lot have come down, or come over from Doncaster to cheer McDonnell on. They'll be happy with what they've seen so far, but they'll also want to see these punches start to have an effect on the Nicaraguan. Sponsors of boxing on Sky Sports. Come on, bro. Come on, Jay, no, you're not seeing double. That's twin brother Gavin. The Central Area Bands and Weight Champion. Apparently, Gavin and Jamie spar together at the gym in Mexborough. It gets pretty tasty, apparently. Surprise, surprise. Round five. Well, let's see if it'll get tasty in here. Jamie McDonald, the Doncaster man, in control of this one. Four rounds in the bank against the Nicaraguan Darwin Zamora. And McDonald continues to just pepper away and try to wear this man down. Well, how much more of this can Zamora take? Zamora still has his enthusiasm. Uh... He's been taking a lot of punches, but hasn't really been badly discouraged. So McDonald maybe just going to have to step in and just get a little bit more snap into the shots. He's landed some good solid right hands, which have knocked Zamora back onto the heels. But when you're landing as often as this, really, you should be getting sign of the results from it. Another champ going to work again. Paying a lot more attention to the defensive side of his game. I the feeling it's a bit late in the day for that already. And then when it gets to close quarters, that's when McDonald really does unload. Caught the right hand there, Zamora, though. And the left got through, though, from McDonald. He tries to work the body with the left hand. A little bit low, Phil Edwards just had a little word. And the left hand doubled up there from McDonald in reply. Well, these are better punches coming back from Zamora. You know, he's getting a fair bit of power into them. But uh, not doing enough work. But see, that's a dangerous looking left hand he's thrown to the body. Good for McDonald. Yeah, it's a couple of those, and he went for another one there. McDonald saw it coming. Well, they've obviously changed their strategy in the Zamora camp. Try and work left hands, especially, to the body and see how McDonald copes with that. Sensible strategy, Jim, because he just hasn't been able to connect with the chin at all. He's still a little bit predictable, that's been his problem all the way through, but McDonald's standing, he's ground a bit more, not so much movement, so giving Zamora some chances to get punches off, but still the better work from McDonald. judge's eyes making Zamora miss and then pinning him with three shots little bursts of punches well, he's, he's, yep, he's, he's wild you know you know a little bit ragged so you can make him miss there you go beautiful punches there that's exactly what we're looking for let's go the distance Ooh, left hand landed but again McDonald landed a couple of his own but had to take a left there on the belt the extensor mechanism, the, the tank. Left hook. 
Get your right hand up at the top, yeah? Keep that right hand. Right. Keep those tweets coming. We always enjoy hearing from you. Zamora showing a sturdy chin. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to agree with that one. He's not going anywhere. He's definitely got a big heart. Eddie Fitzpatrick dead on the money there. Round uh, yeah, Lane Taylor saying it's the lack of power that's going to hurt Jamie McDonald. And I think that is what most people... Oh, he's got him. Ah, there's a bit of power. Left hand, right on cue, followed up with a right, and Zamora staggered. Gets another one. Now, can he finish the job here, McDonald? That's exactly what I'm calling for. Just step in and get a bit more spite into the punches. More like it. These are solid, clean punches that McDonald is landing, and he still can't get rid of him, but surely it's coming. And now he continues to unload, and Zamora is hurt and backing up. Now he's making his size really tell, and this is the right time to do that. This could be a long, hard night. It doesn't have to be if he puts the pedal down now. Well, this is exactly what Steffi Bull said would happen. They wanted to have a real good look at him. And then at about the halfway point, if he was still there, turn on the heat. And McDonald is certainly stepping it up. Zamora's regrouped, and he's trying to take it back to McDonald. He's, he's landed so many clean, open shots here, McDonald. It is a concern, and he hasn't managed to get rid of this fella yet. And it's not as if he's... A guy with a, a record of having a granite jaw. This is a fellow that's been put away five times. That flyweight and super flyweight. McDonald's got to get rid of him. I mean, McDonald's not a huge puncher. It's the ball you want. He's taken a solid left hand himself. Zamora, not finish it. Yeah, that was a good left hand. But again, McDonald seems to be able to cope with that. But that'll give Zamora some heart. He's still there. He's still got that left hand, which will give him some hope. Well, that's all he's got now, surely. I mean, this is probably the kind of uh, fight that Zamora enjoys coming from Nicaragua. This is what's expected. You know, that's what this is what the fans expect. Two fighters to stand their ground, take some chances, and let some punches go. But the trouble is, uh, McDonald just seems too strong for him. Almost as the last one in those exchanges. Actually, with it. Straight right hand as he was coming in there. McDonald picking his shots well. And he's had Zamora wobbling two or three times. And on every occasion, the Nicaraguan has showed some power of recovery and a lot of grit. You can see Jamie McDonald tightening up his own defences because he's walking into punching range and letting shots go. So, I mean, he maybe fancies he's far stronger up close than Zamora. It's as though he's boxing now as though he fancies the stoppage. Swinging in with that left hand again, the Nicaraguan. And very marked up around both eyes. And is there a cut above the left eye? I think he's cut. Well, the referee went to the corners of both men at the end of the previous round and, and, and said it was caused by a head clash. I only saw swelling at the time, yeah. but I can see some bleeding now. It only looked as though it was swelling, but he did make the point that it was caused by a clash of heads. And let's make another point. Have you seen a percentage of success as high as that in a fight like this? 50% from Jamie McDonald. In other words, he can't miss. That's the good news. The bad news, he can't miss him, but he can't get rid of him. Now, but he's shaking up, up now. I mean, there's a big change in the way McDonald's getting the punches off now. He's standing his ground. You can see him tightening his own defence as he marches forward, digging in with the punches. These, these are not range finders now. Full credit to the Zamora. He's coming back with good shots of his own, but coming off second best in just about every exchange. Second up, round seven. And we can confirm an accidental head clash is the call from Phil Edwards. So marked up around both eyes, cut over the left eye, and a mile behind on points, but still in there, showing terrific determination here, Darwin Zamora. The late replacement, seeking to grab his opportunity to gate crash the big time. And Jamie McDonald is going to have to work hard to get rid of this fella. Started fast in the last round. It's a lot more cautious here from the Yorkshireman at the start of this seventh. And both of them 
just in their shell a little bit here. Yeah, McDonald's just kind of reaching with the punches again. He was doing that earlier in the previous round. He stepped right in with the shots, and that's what was causing the damage. But Tess, a long time to go. We're only in the seventh round. So maybe just showing a little bit of sense. Knows things are going well. Don't do anything silly. Zamora not showing an awful lot of ambition. And when he does, he gets caught. Walked onto one there. McDonald can put a flurry together with his man pinned in a neutral corner. You know, these are punches that are at the world level you're looking really to, to inflict some damage. But the Zamora still taking that. I mean, that was a full blooded shot. McDonald couldn't have landed any more cleanly. But this little fellow still there. Yeah, he's hitting with everything. And they've been wide open, clean shots. Flush on the chin, a lot of them. And Zamora seemingly just taking them all and coming back for more. Just neglecting the body a little bit, McDonald. Interesting to see if he goes back to that as that cut worsens, or whether he's going to continue just to pound away at the head. He gives Zamora an awful lot of credit because he's made this a terrific battle. He stood his ground, he's given it his best shot. I haven't given him a round, but he has to oh, stop trying to right hand it. it. Just a little warning every once in a while for McDonald, not to take any liberties with this fella, who's certainly got a big, big heart and has defied quite a few people who were at the weigh-in yesterday and said he's too small to live more than a couple of rounds with Jamie McDonald. But is he starting to unravel here? Looks a little bit heavy on his legs there. Oh, he got a right hand through. The spray flew up from McDonald's head there. That was a good shot. His punching has absolutely no effect so far on McDonald. He takes them and carries on what he's doing. Like every other round, only one winner. Just stick look. to your boxing so yeah. you can make it easy Steffi to get it in. Repeating the dose as well, just, 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 just take it easy. This is under control. But they know how close they are to being at world level. And they don't want to spoil it now. Yep, another good round, another good round to watch and a good round for McDonald. Just doing that a little bit more. Far higher quality, but one or two warning signs coming back. Takes a punch well, Jamie McDonald. One of his European title defences against Stefan Jamoy. He was rocking a couple of times. The Belgian really sticking it to him, but he weathered the storms. And hung on to his European title, which he subsequently relinquished. Only one winner of this one so far, unless Zamora, the man in the green trim trunks, can find a leveller. A little buzz has descended around the crowd now. They've been cheering so much of McDonald's good work, expecting that to signal the finish. And the Yorkshire just can't get rid of this little fella. He's looking a little bit slow at the moment, uh, Zamora. I think that, I mean, this has been tough. He's been under pressure every second of this. I think it's maybe beginning to take its toll. Yep, he's been caught much more cleanly, you can see. Can't miss with that jab. Definitely slowed down. Took a nice left hook upstairs, took a right to the body. And didn't throw too many punches now. Breathing hard. He's just regrouping here and going for one assault himself. He seems to fight at McDonald's pace when McDonald steps it up. He tries to go with him. And if McDonald just takes a step back, he's happy to take a breather. And McDonald continuing just a pot shot at will. Yeah, tired looking legs there from Zamora. He could have stumbled on oh, the shot. Amazing. Those legs that look tired really wobbled. Can McDonald step in and get the job finished here? A good left hand and another one upstairs as well. Trying to breathe some life into those legs. The Nicaraguan takes another right hand. 
just needs a cool head here, McDonald. Just pick the punches. Don't worry about volume. And he's doing just that. Good shot. Good punches again. The switch downstairs as well. And look at this. Everything landing. And Zamora seemingly ready for the taking here. His face a mess. His legs getting very heavy and wobbly. And still he keeps coming. Block that left hook off. But nothing coming back from him in this round. I think the resistance has been knocked out of him here. The heart's still in this, but not much left in the tank. Yeah, the body. The body's letting him down now. He is starting to feel very tired indeed. It's what Jamie McDonald does. He wears you down. He grinds away. He never gives you a breather. And he is just battering his fellow. Phil Edwards has just taken a step in there as if to say, I'm ready to stop this. So Zamora's got to show some willing to keep this going. And uh, it marks around the left eye himself there, McDonald. Not sure if that's blood from his opponent or whether he's got a little nick. Well, that's the first time I've used the word uh, dominating around, and that's what the McDonald did here. Total domination there. Jab, jab, jab straight back in, then set off again. A bit of room's the key. When you see him come in, step back every time. Then you do your work when he stops. That's it. That now, a lot of damage was done there. I was just uh, remarking on how heavy his legs looked in that right hand landed. He did so well to take that and remain upright. But uh, very little from that point on come back from Zamora. Shipping punishment for the rest of the round. His heart's still in this. He's giving it everything. This is a huge night for him. But uh, McDonald has done a lot of damage in that round. I think one more big round could uh, force the referee to step in here because there's not there much left in Zamora's tank. And he's, he's not nothing left. They've waved it off. I think they've seen enough as well and said, you know what? I've given it everything I've got. It's time just to call it in. And that's what they've done. So it's typical Jamie McDonald. Town and ground. And now. The likeable bantamweight from Doncaster really has hit the big time. He is in contention for a world title fight. Terrific performance. I think there's a slight chance that the IBF may want another eliminator because of the, 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 the late call here. But that was a terrific performance, business led all the way through, down to the driving seat straight away and stayed there. Full credit to Zamora. Thanks to him, with a terrific little spectacle there. But he could never get himself into it. Didn't have the strength or the experience to turn the tide. Yeah, he gave everything he had. And he's earned everyone's respect tonight, Darwin Zamora. But it's Jamie McDonald that's moving onwards and upwards. It was a tough night for him, but in the end, it went exactly according to the script. They said they were going to just take it easy, not go crazy, and then step it up and see if they could force the stoppage. That is exactly what they delivered. Jamie McDonald, he's talking to Andy Scott. Jamie, how much pressure was you on there tonight, knowing that it could be a world title next? Pressure was massive, you know, coming out of a massive arena like this, you know. You're going to have pressure, but, you know, I know what I can do. I know I'm the best in the world at bantamweight. I've just got to get out there, you know, and prove it, and that's what I've done tonight. Um, I felt awesome in there, picking my shots. He hit me with a little body shot. Apart from that, you know, I thought I was beating him up. I, I was thinking, come on, rest, stop it. But then he'd come back and hit me with one, you know, keep me on my toes, and yeah, that's what you get at this level. Yeah, a word on Darwin Zamora. Did you start to think that he might not go anywhere because you hit him what, with what seemingly seemed clean shots? Honestly, I thought I'm going to have him out in six, and then he'd come back. He hit me one, and I think he's not going. And I just keep. I, I honestly thought I'm beating him up. I seen his face cutting, and I thought, come on, ref. And then he'd catch me, and I'm like, here we go, 12 rounds. But, you know, frankly, you know, it got stuck. Yeah, I'm there, you know, world title fight. What more can you ask for? You know, I'm hopefully going to be a world champion. Yeah, after those early career losses, did you? Did you think, did you ever imagine that you would be, be here one step away? I didn't know, um, you know, I come on board with Dennis, done a fantastic job, I've won every title going. You know, it was my dream to be a British champion, you, you take every step as it comes, British, Commonwealth, European, next step's world, you know, I've, I've you know, I didn't think, I didn't honestly think I was going to be a world champion, but, you know, with confidence goals, with every title you win, I've defended him, I've fought the best out there, and, you know, I, you know I'm proving I'm, I'm going to be the best in the world. I'll bring your manager in here, Dennis Hobson. Will it be world titles next? Well, we're locked in now. You know, that's what the fight we're all about. Uh, we appreciate the job that Eddie's done, putting us on this 
a tremendous show in Sheffield and uh, he's earned the right you know he's cleaned up like he says at European and domestic level uh, we did again you know the IBF have worked with us and he's locked in you know a lot of fights fighters sometimes get there without fighting mandatory um, you know um, okay. contest and uh, he's there and he's done it on merit and he's yeah, done it the hard way so yeah, I'll, I'll give you the again. I'll give you the final word Jamie can you be the man to bring a world title back to Doncaster? 100%. I'm telling you now, please believe in me. I'm going to win a world title. I'm destined to be a world champion. Look at confidence. I'm confident, man. I want to be a world champion, 100%. Well done tonight.